Hey yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Twa here today. Oh my god, I have so much fun checking every YouTube video that I could possibly find onto the T4 skills, hyper awakening skills and whatsoever, and not just Trixion, but all sorts of showcases that pff, it blew my mind. So without further ado, me showcasing, highlighting some of the videos that I really did enjoy. Make sure not my content down into the description is links to all of these videos. And give these guys some love, some likes, some thumbs up, some subscriptions whatsoever. But let's get it popping. Starting off with some artillerist. Oh, look at the damage! Guns in there, lasers in. <laughs> look at the absolute burst. And with the hyper awakening skill, don't mind me. It is supposed to do a lot of damage, but it isn't dropping. He ain't done yet. <laughs> so within 25 seconds, he did 8.6 billion damage. The hell is this? But ladies and gentlemen, next up, destroy it. And I think they are eating good because highlight is one of the... Oh! 1.2 billion in Trixion. But we're not done yet. Oh, Big Swing, Awakening Skill, Rage Anime because black and white stuff, and oh my dear lord, 20 seconds, 450 million damage per second, ladies and gentlemen. In this little burst window, we thought we were almost done, no we're not. Oh, T-Skill, Big Smash. Sure, gravity training, why not? Now, in terms of damage, there's a different preference. But look at this. Hammer time! And the cutscene itself won't be shown into Trixion. But let's face it, that was absolutely sickening. Now, some of the things that you have to keep in mind. Skills will be able to improve and change the moment we get bracelets of Brelshaza. Now I find myself a bar short that really looked impressive, but mainly due to that kind of damage. What in the hell is that? We got the piano. We got the little flies up on deck and it still does 1.3 billion damage. What? Now, I'm still not sure whether bards are mad as hell because supposedly it was trash, but the amounts of buffs. Ew. Moving on, War Dancer, and well, I was I was thinking like, okay, when is she gonna do the move? When is she gonna kick this thing in the dome piece? What is happening? We still haven't done the full rotation, and we all know that this is gonna do a lot of damage. Oh, that's boot! <laughs> 5.5 ladies and gentlemen what <laughs> oh we're setting up the skills and this also shows let's put it back a little bit that for now we can move up everything up in the first line but we cannot do these points down below here yet now i am very much wondering and this is one of the showcases already where you will be able to change them for the better let's get it checked out and this is what intrigued me the most. This is a Surge Blade. T-Skill currently performed. And yes, it does stacks, ladies and gentlemen. But what you see within the first rotation, it's not using Blitz Rush. I love that. So within one rotation, Blitz Rush once again. Get popped up once again. And now we don't have to Blitz Rush once again. One, two, three. Pop the F once again. Beep! Easy mode. So this makes the rotation, I would say, a little bit faster, a little bit more lenient toward everything. Will this make me love this Surge Blade a little bit more? Maybe? But probably not. I like remaining energy just way too much. But moving on to the next, one of the things that got me surprised the most is Tajutsu Scrapper. We get the rotation now, press the Z button. Oh, press the Z once again, and then, oh, let's put that back for a little bit, a few seconds. T skill is uh, 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 else. That is a blast of a hit, and look at the amount of damage being dealt. The amount of burst that is being popped is absolutely insane, ladies and gentlemen. Know that these classes are having some cooldowns on some skills, but there are classes that can nearly reset their skills. Search Blades, for instance, it's absolutely massive. And the question that I had 
that I still have on enter, the swiftness really improve its cooldown. Uh, 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 uh. Get the rotation. Press the F. Get the skill down. Wait a little bit until the skills come up. Could have popped the T skill, technically. Uh, uh, uh. Press the Z button once again, and there's a 64 second cooldown. Now, knowing that you get about 20% second cooldown, uh, that might actually be the case where swiftness does help you with lowering its overall cooldown. Not to make the video that long, Awakening! <laughs> Big hit, 1 billion, but we're not done yet. We get the. Oh my dear lord, that second hit is marvelous. Let's do it again. <laughs> Cutscene, we don't see it anyway. One and a 2.5, ladies and gentlemen. That skill, it was good before. It looks way better now. Oh my. Now, obviously, we have all these Trixions, and there's a few more left in the building, but here we got Death Blow Striker, and I believe this class to be the biggest benefactor toward this whole stuff. You won't be seeing the damage like we have because Korea has it a little bit different, but oh! That big kick doesn't have the impact as the T-Skill does. But the marvelous part about it is you can reset the skill on Death Blow Strike. Within, I think it is two rotations, you can then pop your Hyper Awakening skill just once again. But this, ladies and gentlemen, Reaper, my class. We get the big, oh, do it once, get back, oh, do it twice. Get all of your skills down, but we're not done yet. We get the hits in, and then, oh, oh, else, 2.1 million hit followed up with 200 million damage three times, ladies and gentlemen. I wonder how fast this thing is gonna be dead. That's one, that's two. The cooldown on in and on itself is quite high. I wonder how Hunger Reaper is really gonna fare with this one. Get it back, just guard. A 1 million. Okay, moving on, we got ourselves a remaining energy. Now, this skill, I really wonder one thing. Charge skill right now. Now, what if we have the Bro Shells our bracelet? Will it still keep being a charge skill? I do not know. But what we can see as well, once again, lowers the cooldown of the damn skill. That is ridiculous, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and this look of Fuego. I love this class so much. It is so sick. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. And if you look at the amount of damage, Surge is doing like a 150, 160, maybe 170 million damage. 291 million crit. What? Now, if you would look at the remaining energy overall parse, then yeah, it's looking a little bit less than Surge Blade, but then again. Oh, that hit is ferocious, ladies and gentlemen. If that becomes an insta cast, I might even be maining this class. Uh, this made me laugh my ass off because, yes, we got the first big schmaku. We open up. It's Christmas. Hit the bell. Who is home? But this dude isn't done yet. He's like, no, we can, we can amp up the damage even further. We're going for. Almost 500, 4.3, Ew, but he still has Esther, ladies and gentlemen. He will be ringing some bells. Six, oh my dear lord, six billion damage on Trixion, ladies and gentlemen. Now this dude is stacked to the, the absolute ceiling. But they weren't done yet, they got teams full of bell ringers. Oh my god. Is going back to being a kid ringing somebody's doorbell and running away. Look at the amount of damage that's being done. <laughs> How many bars is that? It ended at 70, 175. They started at what? 120, 222. So they whacked off about 50, nearly 50 bars. Next up, one of my favorites. Here comes Power Slide. And it drops two homing thingies and then a zap. Oh my. God, this is gorgeous. Once again, here it comes. Eh, eh. Power slide. Maybe. Next up. Us. Power step, not power slide. 
Destructo Disc. And I was so curious about his damage, but it is a show, sadly. Spirit Bombs. And I got to say, everybody is doing about the similar damage with the Hyper Awakening skill. We don't know the amount of force that is being generated by this guy. But one thing that you want to keep in mind is look at his HP. It's only 230k. Now, this might not say everything, but I've seen the Absolute Whales hit about 300 already. So I am assuming with the amount of damage that's being done right now, chances are it might get better. But I want to see this in action, ladies and gentlemen. And where do you see damage? Oh! He only did the T-Skill! What kind of BS is that? <laughs> oh! Here we go. Yes. Normal spirit bomb. I'm not expecting anything. And it missed, obviously. This is why I wasn't expecting Jack. AoE is caca. Move out. Mm -hmm. Else? Okay, we get it. We need some Genki Damas. You're late. Else? He did the wrong one! The amount of times that I have seen this happen with today is so many. Press Alt first, then press V, my friend. It helps. Don't do it on the shield, please. I want to see some damai. Did he do? Ows! Six billion damage, single hit. But this is one of my biggest questions. What if? Did he do the wrong one again? No, he hit both snakes, ladies and gentlemen. I think there are several awakenings that have the ability to do this. It is nuts. <laughs> that sound. Oh man, six billion damage already, ladies and gentlemen. Handgun, a pistol. Ew. I have seen Saint Tom play this one, and it looked gorgeous. T skill is a charge skill. Look at absolute fire. And then we got the construction worker. His building blocks, he's demolishing them straight away. 3.7 Trixion. No buff, no nothing. And then on, to top it all, a new shotgun skill. He's getting the gun from Doom, ladies and gentlemen. The BFG. How big is this thing? Now this looked hilarious as hell. He's, he's showcasing it. Missile and some shrapnel. This is so underwhelming. This is a joke. But then this thing. It is fast. One of the fastest, I think. I'm not sure how long the cutscene itself is. But the AOE range. Wow. Here we go. On to the mine. Gate 4. Genki Dama. Hey. Damn. 3.9, we've seen more, but he didn't use the Atrophin Potion. And I did not see a use of a Dark Bomb. Now, the biggest question and reason why I'm showing it. If you are getting into the 4.2 game, will it then reset the chance of doing the Hyper Awakening skill once again? And the answer to that is going to be... Oh, what? Yes. Oh, that is godlike. So the bar is once again filling up. However, if Thea Mine is dying super fast, it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, did I see a six Hondo? I do not know. I see a lot of Damahe. L 1.8. I don't know where it happened, but it did. Genki Dama. What do we have here, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> it got yoinked. That is so nuts. Oh, he must be mad as hell. I would be so mad. I would be so mad. Ladies and gentlemen, let me wrap it up for the day. Are there any classes that you guys are rooting for? Something that I need to showcase and look out for for the next compilation? Let me know down into the comments. Did you guys enjoy this? But ladies and gentlemen, first and foremost, one thing that you got to do, press the escape button, look at their video, press a thumbs up and give them some love. Thank you guys for watching. This was Troy. Peace.